The point, ladies and gentlemen, is that time can be just as elastic as space. Every period of time that ever was, that is, or for all we know ever will be, is out there someplace just waiting for us to put ourselves into it. Some man or woman gifted with special, extraordinary sensibilities might even be someone in this very room will somehow, someday, puncture a tiny hole in the wall of what up to now has been the impenetrable barrier to our physical and psychic senses. When that happens, then the time is near. The human race as we know it will be forever released from the bondage and fog-bound limitation of its own feeble making. ladies and gentlemen, is that time can be just as elastic as space. That a person without changing in any way himself might be able to introduce himself into any period of time that he chooses. How could that happen? Because time is not real. It's nothing but an idea that man has invented. One of the things I've been working on is a new theory of time that says that past, present, and future are in a sense all one and the same. point, ladies and gentlemen, is that time can be just as elastic as space. Like an all-embracing ocean tide on which we and all the universe swim like apparitions which are and then are not. without changing in any way himself, might be able to introduce himself into any period of time that he chooses. How could that happen? Because time is not real. It's nothing but an idea that man has invented. The point, ladies and gentlemen, is that time can be just as elastic as space. Most of us acknowledge the idea that life is but a dream. We are not quite ready to accept the notion that time, too, may be nothing more than an illusion.